Michael Hornback with CareStream Health, introducing the latest version of View Motion, our zero footprint viewer for referring physicians and clinicians. Once logged into ViewMotion, the referring physicians and clinicians have access to patients based on their permissions granted by the imaging department. They can search for a specific patient by name, ID, or session, or filter by any number of criteria. Once they find their patient, they'll find basic patient information, indicators of critical results if they're used in view packs, and well, as well as the report. If they simply want to see the report, they can click the little piece of her paper and up comes the report, which can include analysis and key images. If they'd like more information and look at the images, they simply click on the patient's name and up come the images with a text version of the report, their history, and a basic tool set, including zoom, pan, window level, or they can use presets that are built into the system. In addition to the line measurements we had in our initial release, we've also added region of interest measurements giving the area, average, standard deviation, and the range. These measurements can be hidden or deleted. The series can also be anonymized by hiding the DICOM tags. I can flip studies, rotate, reset the studies, or play in semi cine mode. Notice over at the bottom are sticky notes. Again, if the radiologist left a message for the referring physician or clinician, they will see that. With permission, they can also reply to this note. A new addition to our view motion is within the reports, we now have bookmarks, which were created by the radiologist when reporting in view packs. These bookmarks are active hyperlinks that take me to that exact location in the study I'm viewing for this report. In addition, we have the bookmark table that was also created by the radiologist in view packs. When I open this up, I can see any bookmarks that were created for not only the current study, but also priors. So if I want to see a bookmark that was indicated in the last study, I simply click and it splits my screen in a one by two view and brings both studies up, not just the key image, but it brings the entire series right to that slice where the bookmark is. With the annotations for volume and measurements in this case. Furthermore, we've added additional displays for a two by two display. So I can actually come into my bookmarks and look at additional priors, again, side by side with annotations automatically displayed. We can also, even if we are at different slices in all four of these studies, automatically synchronize all four studies. And finally, we've added some basic 3D functionality in the zero footprint client. So here you see my wire box on the bottom. Double click will of course bring me to a full sized image. And this allows me to put the study into a sagittal plane or a coronal plane. I can also look at my 3D parameters and change, change the coloring to a MIP, a MIN, or any number of pre-configured colored protocols. For example, I might want to look at this in a lung protocol. I can also change my spacing or slice thickness to better see the pathology. So there are a great many of additional tools available now for ViewMotion, the zero footprint viewer for anywhere, anytime access.